not just Labour, but all politicians have encouraged women to go back to work. Uh, and they've said, you know, working is really good for you. How, where do you stand on that? Because you say you're talking to women in the workplace, mm -hmm. but a lot of women watching this programme mm -hmm. are stay-at-home mums, mm -hmm. and they could feel totally ignored and left mm -hmm. out and, in fact, stigmatised. Well, I'll just... I'll tell you... Of course, it's got to be about choice, but I'll also tell you the biggest thing that I hear is from women who would like to go back to work but say, I can't afford to, mm. because the childcare is not there. Mm. And that's why the 25 hours free childcare for three- and four-year-olds uh, um, of working parents is really central to that. But, of course, if you can afford to uh, stay at home, often women can't, which is why it's historic low, actually, um, because mm. the husband's wage is often not mm -hmm. kind of... So what would Labour do to help the, either women that want to stay at home or people that are, would like to go back to work or need to go back to work? How would you help them? So it's about um, not just the 25 hours um, free childcare, but obviously when your little one becomes uh, five and of school age, mm -hmm. then the problems don't stop um, there. So there will be a legal guarantee free primary school from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Breakfast, cl uh, breakfast club and after school club because, you know, the working life does not reflect the school day. And so it's about, it's about enabling women to have that mm. choice. Mm -hmm.